Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflix. Today we're looking at a robotic modular kit called IO Cube. These here are marketed as the ultimate Arduino modules. Essentially, these little cubes that have different modules that can activate and do different tasks. So one thing you could do is have a screen on it. You can have an LED on it. You can even put a motor in it and have it move about as an RC car. And there's actually a lot of different components. It's really based up, up to you and the possibilities are almost endless. Now, the unique thing about this particular kit is the fact that it has no wires, meaning you have these cubes that you make and you can go ahead and attach them and they use magnets to create different kinds of sequences. And it's actually a very unique concept that is great for STEM education. Now, together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying out exactly what it's all about. So if you guys want your very own, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is the packaging. Nothing too complicated, obviously. Being a prototype, I'm assuming the final will look a little bit different. Uh, let's see what's inside. So we got a little card here that says the, the right way to install IOQ, kind of showcasing how to build it. Uh, we have all these different panels, look at that. And then these here are essentially our different modules. All right, so we have these essentially 3D printed uh, casing pieces. And uh, I can see that they have these little slots for the magnetic balls. So this will allow it to go ahead and adhere to each other. Uh, we have some gear mechanisms to go ahead and essentially create uh, one panel there. And then we have a bunch of different circuit boards. So one thing I do see is we have essentially our battery pack with an LED on there. Uh, we have multiple of those uh, and then as we kind of move about we have one with a motor on it so that's cool too uh, in the corner here this here is our core of our IO cube which is essentially a ESP 32C3 uh, that features a connectivity of Wi-Fi 2.4 giga as well as a Bluetooth LE5 uh, and then in terms of development goes you have your Arduino which is your library based system and then your blocky which is your platform which is a drag and drop feature now the frequency on this is 160 mhz uh, and overall looks pretty cool so i believe this is going to be our standard kit which they actually have to offer right now which is essentially 25 modular component panels and 36 frame panels uh, so kind of gives you an idea how that works uh, looks like we're going to have a total of seven cubes uh, moving on we have a few different other components so we have some led panels here i believe there's an infrared one as well on this side here we have a few more components uh, which kind of showcases exactly what this is all about. Uh, you can see here, everything is nicely packaged. On the bottom side here, we have a gear mechanism. Uh, we have essentially different casings uh, for covers as well as the buttons. And then of course, we also have some little roller, like some wheels in terms of making a robotic cart goes. So let's go ahead and just try this thing out. I'm curious to see how this is to make a cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these guys here. And then I, I have these little balls, those magnetic balls, and they kind of get pushed in there. The concept behind this is it'll kind of allow it to adhere to itself uh, and then being magnetic, you can go ahead and pull them apart. Now you do have to screw in the different modules into the components, uh, sorry, into the panels. So just keep that in mind, uh, but it does come with a screwdriver, which is nice. So it is kind of nice that they have you having to build this, so you kind of get a better feeling of exactly how does this work. All right, so I have enough to build one cube. Um, kind of show you how this kind of plays out is you just kind of snap them together, that, and then you just make one with all six sides. Uh, so let's go ahead and create ourselves a cube and see how this plays out. All right, so uh, finally built and not too complicated. So they kind of just snap in together and you can make a different variations of essentially cubes based on what your preference is. Now there is actually like an open spot here that lets you kind of see in there, but obviously you can go ahead and fill it any way you like. Uh, but yeah, so we have a few different things here. So we have our infrared sensor, we have our connecting sensor, uh, we have our display screen here, and then we have our control module in terms of being able to use it. Now over here actually have the control uh, to connect it to per se like the computer uh, or 
specifically kind of how you want to do it. Now, for this demonstration here, we'll be using the app interface. So just kind of showcasing how this works, let's go ahead and hit this button here. This will go ahead and enable it. This will assign it to cube zero. Uh, right now I have it on a default spirit mode, so I can control this particular guy by moving this here. So I can make him jump, I can make him move one way or the other, and just kind of move him about, which is kind of fun too. So that's kind of cool that you can technically do that now. The nice thing about this is you can link them together uh, but before I do that, I kind of want to showcase how this kind of works. So here is essentially what I see to create my own flow of events. Uh, so it's kind of nice that it does give you that option to create your own coding uh, with variables, logic, shows, events, stuff like that. Now on this left side here, you have your simulator. So the simulator will kind of showcase exactly what's happening. So if I click on bounce, um, I can see that if I click this, it'll uh, add more. So this kind of gives you a little bit of a simulator of exactly what it is. Now I'm going to connect to this via Bluetooth. And then what I can do from there is I can upload it directly to it, just like this. And you'll see that it is now updating. There we go. Alright, so now essentially if I press the button here, it should automatically do what's in that particular program. So that's kind of neat. Now uh, they have a few different variations of uh, essentially programs that you can use. You have like display, random, mathematics, spirit, Tetris, stuff like that. So if I click on Tetris, uh, I can see the simulator version, which is in the top left. But if I go ahead and hit upload, uh, it also will create a Tetris game on your screen that you can technically play, which is really cool. All right, so this here is our Tetris game. There we are. So I can move my block and essentially play Tetris on the screen. <laughs> so this is kind of neat because uh, you're essentially creating a game on this. And from there, I just lost. But yes, yeah, so you can see that there's actually a full code on this particular game um, and then uh, yeah I mean it's essentially how it looks and there's a little sad face saying you lost <laughs> so that's actually pretty neat now it gets more interesting when you start connecting more together so for instance if I just kind of connect these guys here and turn them on so you assign them 0 1 2 3 and let's go ahead and reconnect to it via Bluetooth Okay, we are now connected and I want to showcase this one here called math and I can then upload it to this and you can see how it's currently updating all of them at the same time, uh, essentially creating a mathematical equation that lets you use it as a calculator. So this is really neat. Uh, again, all has to do with coding. Uh, and it tells you to assign which ones to which with. Uh, so in this case here, this is zero, one, two, and from there, it says zero plus zero equals zero. If I mess this with this here, so three plus, let's just try two, uh, you get five. So that's cool too. And then you can do subtraction, you could do multiplication, um, you can do division, and just variations of different things that you are looking for, kind of up to you. And that is absolutely really cool in terms of being able to go ahead and code it. Uh, and then again, of course, you can go ahead and adjust the coding and variables. You can see everything here on the side. Um, I can also adjust the brightness of my screen. I can make it dimmer, brighter, stuff like that. Um, and then. Yeah, I mean, it's there's a lot of different variations of things that you can do uh, in terms of games go. So this here is the spirit game that I was previously mentioning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. And what this does, it'll actually connect the screens together so you uh, create one longer version of the game. Okay, so you can see I have my character and another character. And if I go ahead and move my character back and forth, I can actually go into the other screen. Like that. 
How cool is that? <laughs> so that's actually cool too. So you can technically uh, mix and match and make different variations of games and stuff like that. And of course it is completely open source. So that is absolutely cool. So you can technically program it any way which you like. Now they also include a search feature uh, allowing you to go ahead and essentially uh, search different things. Uh, so there's different variations of displays that you can choose from. So this talks about all the different things here uh, in terms of what it is and creating different orientations. Um, and shows that you need three of them for this. Uh, and it's just different stuff like that. So overall, I mean, it's pretty darn cool. Uh, so you can see like we have like a maze one here. Uh, we have random dice, we have a roulette. And if I want this one here, all I have to do is select roulette. And if I hit Bluetooth connect, Connect to my Bluetooth. Okay, code has been updated and <laughs> we'll check that out. How cool is that? So you have like these really unique looking characters uh, as if it's a video game. Uh, and if you press a button there, you can see them kind of like dance about, press it again. Uh, you'll see them kind of dance, have them move around, jump up, jump up and get down. <laughs> So this is kind of neat too. So there's like different variations of programming that you can kind of mess around with. I can set the orientation of it. So if I want it upside down or left side right, it's really up to you on how you want to do that. So you have a shoot fight. Let's try this. Code has been updated. So shoot fight. Ah, so cool. So you can control both characters and you have to like essentially shoot each other. So this is cool too. So you can make different games. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's kind of up to you. I love how it kind of incorporates all three screens overall. Now, besides that, there's different things that else you can do. Uh, for instance, you have uh, the two vehicle two wheel. So this is neat because you can technically control it as an RC car. So uh, let's go ahead and set that one up next and see what that looks like. Okay, so I think, oh, all right, cool. All right. All right, so check it out. So this here is our uh, RC car version. Uh, so essentially it's got two mortars there on the left and the right, and then it's just connected to that via Bluetooth. Uh, now you could typically uh, just control it via the app. Uh, so if you're on the website here, you can actually see I went ahead and connected to it via Bluetooth, and now I have control over the uh, car itself, so I can technically press a button here, and then it should let me control it at that point. Uh, so let's try that out. There we go. And then if I hit control, <clears throat> Turn it on, connect to it via Bluetooth, and we are now connected, and now I can control it as an RC car. <laughs> How cool is that? Now I can also even control it via the buttons on the top here. You can see here by pressing the button here, I can stop it, uh, press it again. It'll go ahead and start, start it in terms of creating a rotational button like that. I press the other one, it should go the other way, just like that. So kind of up to you on how you want to do it. I just love the fact that you can technically program these things to do anything that you like. And that is the absolute beauty behind these cubes. There is literally endless possibilities on what you can create from essentially mathematic cubes to it. Okay, swiping up. All right, cool. All right. All right, so check it out. So this here is our uh, RC car version. Uh, so essentially it's got two mortars there on the left and the right, and then it's just connected to that via Bluetooth. Uh, now you could typically uh, just control it via the app. Uh, so if you're on the website here, you can actually see I went ahead and connected to it via Bluetooth, and now I have control over the uh, car itself, so I can technically press a button here, and then it should let me control it at that point. Uh, so let's try that out. There we go. And then if I hit control, <clears throat> Turn it on, connect to it via Bluetooth, and we are now connected, and now I can control it as an RC car. <laughs> How cool is that? 
Now I can also even control it via the buttons on the top here. You can see here by pressing the button here, I can stop it, uh, press it again. It'll go ahead and start, start it in terms of creating a rotational button like that. If I press the other one, it should go the other way, just like that. So kind of up to you on how you want to do it. I just love the fact that you can technically program these things to do anything that you like. And that is the absolute beauty behind these cubes. There is literally endless possibilities on what you can create from essentially mathematic cubes to all right, so check it out. So this here is our uh, RC car version. Uh, so essentially it's got two mortars there on the left and the right, and then it's just connected to that via Bluetooth. Uh, now you could typically uh, just control it via the app. Uh, so if you're on the website here, you can actually see I went ahead and connected to it via Bluetooth, and now I can control it as an RC car. <laughs> How cool is that? Now I can also even control it via the buttons on the top here. You can see here by pressing the button here, I can stop it, uh, press it again. It'll go ahead and start, start it in terms of creating a rotational button like that. I press the other one, it should go the other way, just like that. So kind of up to you on how you want to do it. I just love the fact that you can technically program these things to do anything that you like. All right, well there you guys have it. Overall, a really cool concept. I love the fact that you can create just about anything, even an RC car, just like that. Not only that, you can technically combine them and create something very unique. Uh, and really, it's kind of up to you on what you want to do with it. And just like that, we can now create something different that is literally out of the unordinary. So overall, a really cool concept. I have to say the nonetheless. Now, if you guys had any questions about these cubes, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.